Hi folks, this is René Molenaar for GNS 3V and I want to show you how to solve the OSPF NSSA LSA Type 725 Translator Election Lab. Alright, so what do we have? Uh, in this, this topology we got uh, area 0 at the top. You can see area 1 is a not so stubby area. And at the bottom there is a router called SAM. And I'm going to redistribute this loopback of router SAM into OSPF. Now you probably know that if you're using an, uh, a not so stubby area that the redistributed prefixes will show up as a LSA type 7 within the NSSA and whenever they are being sent from area 1 to the backbone area or any other area they will be translated from type 7 to type 5. Now you can see in this topology that there are two routers, Tron and Quora, and those are both area border routers. So which of those two is going to do the uh, translation from type 7 to type 5? Uh, that's one question, and the other question is how can I change this behavior? So that's what this lab is about, and I'm going to show you how to do this. And before we can do this, I need to configure OSPF of course, and area 0 uh, and area 1 as the NSSA. Alright, so what do we have? Uh, router Kevin is our backbone router and I'm just going to advertise all of the interfaces. Router Tron is a area border router. This interface belongs to the backbone area. This one belongs to area 1. And area 1 is a not so stubby area. Router Quora. This one belongs to the backbone area. That one in area 1. And of course, area 1 is a not so stubby area. And then we have router SAM over here. This one belongs to area 1. This one as well. And area 1 is a not so stubby area. Okay, so far so good. So I did the backbone area, I did area 1 as a not so stubby area. And now I'm going to redistribute the loopback interface of router SAM into OSPF area 1. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, okay, so before I do so I need to create that loopback. I thought I did so already, but apparently I haven't. So there's my loopback, and now I'm going to do router OSPF, redistribute, uh, connected, and then I'm going to specify subnets, otherwise it's going to redistribute class full. Here we go. So if we look at router Quora or Tron, for example, you can see this one in the routing table. So there's my loopback as a external uh, entry. And on router core it shows up as a N2, which means OSPF NSSA external type 2. We can see it over here on router Tron as well. Um, <coughs> but you can see there's a difference here, because at Quora it's showing up as a N2 entry, which means the OSPF NSSA external type 2, and on router Tron it's showing up as a external type 2. And okay, so let's take a look. The next goal for me is to make sure that router Tron is the router performing the translation from LSA type 7 to type 5. So let me show you what is going on here. Um, what I can do, um, I think if I would look at router Kevin, 
we can do show IP route. We can see this network over here. And I can do show o IP OSPF database external. And then I'm going to take a look at this network. And what do we see over here? So it's an external link, we know that, and it says advertising router 34.3 and that's the IP address of router Quora over here. So apparently router Quora is the router that's doing the type 7 to type 5 translation and router Tron is not doing anything. So why did router Quora become the uh, translator? It's because it has the highest router ID for OSPF. And of course that's something we can change. So let's say I want to make sure that router Tron over here will be the active translator. Then we need to change the router ID. So I can change the router ID to something like uh, this which should be a higher router ID than whatever Quora has. Let's do clear IP OSPF. And let's do this one as well. If we look at router Kevin, we can still see that this is the advertising router, which is router Quora. Uh, let me see if that's okay. Let's do another clear OSPF. And it still says advertising router 34.3. Ah, okay, now it's different. So, if you're not sure, just do a reset of all your OSPF adjacencies. Just to be sure. Uh, okay, so now you can see advertising router. And that's the router ID that I just changed on router Tron. And if we check router Tron... We can now see this entry as a N2, and on router Quora we will see it as a E2. So by changing the router ID, router Tron is now the active translator for type 7 to type 5. So that's it, it's just the router ID that you need to change. Um, that's it, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and till next time.